friends here we are discussing about stackstrom installation and configuration part first let me open official documentation for our stackstrom that is docs.stackstrom.com see here we already gone through stackstrom overview now we are working on installation and configuration part let me open this in a new tab see here stackstrom is distributed as rpms that rpms is for red hat and centos and Debian's that is for Ubuntu and Linux systems and it is also available as docker images that's fine but while installing and configuring our stackstrom we are having different ways see here we have one line install manual installation ansible playbooks we can install and configure our stackstrom for high availability also and through vagrant through puppet modules through docker we can install but we are at beginning stage that's why first i will go with one line install it is very easy later we'll discuss about remaining ways basically this one line install is simply a script and that script will automatically install and configure all components on single system basically stackstrom consists of different components right so if you go with this simple script it will automatically install and configure all required components of our stackstrom on a single system see that one line install so here we have a steps just click on quick install see quick install simply it is a script actually this curl command is downloading a script and we are running that script just by providing some username and password you can provide any username and password like xyz user xyz password that's fine and before going to install your stackstrom with a simple script we need some system requirement the very first thing is it should be a clean 64 bit linux system why it should be clean because stackstrom consists of different components and they are going to use different ports in case if your system is running with some different applications they may already using required ports of stackstrom that's why while installing our stackstrom through shell script we may get some conflicts that's why the very first thing is your system should be clean and it is 64 bit linux systems let me open here system requirements we know that stackstrom is available for ubuntu and rhls and through images docker images so now you can go with either ubuntu or rhl but these are the suggestible versions and for testing purpose your linux ways should have dual cpu 2 gb ram and 10 gb storage 10 gb storage is not mandatory but it's good if you have and these are the values for your production and suppose if you are trying to launch your os from aws then for testing purpose they are suggesting t2.medium and for production m4.xlarge now here i'm going with linux os that is 8 from aws so red hat enterprise linux 8 i am selecting from aws i mean let me show you the different components of your stackstrom see these are the components we are going to install for our stackstrom simply if you run this shell script no this will install all these components and if you observe here nginx is running on 8.0 basically nginx is helpful to log in into your stackstrom through ui then MongoDB database to store our data. RabbitMQ messaging queue. Postgres SQL is for uh, one of the workflow of our Stackstrom that is Misral. Then for authentication purpose, different services, components. Fine. Now first let me open my AWS account and let me launch new instance. See, I am under US East 2. So here I am selecting Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. 64 bit so t2 dot medium is not under free tire it will be chargeable so if you observe here t2 dot medium is having two cpus and four gb fine that is the minimum requirement for our systems right memory is two gb is enough but we are having four gb that's fine better then i am going with the default values then security groups i am not adding any tags security groups i am opening simply all traffics i am selecting simply 
the second security group if you observe here this security group is open all traffic if you are good at how to configure uh, ports you just go with your required ports whatever the ports you need no just open them on your security group otherwise anyway this is practice no just open all traffic that's fine then simply launch your instance so i already have a key pair st2 just i'm using that so just wait for one minute it will up and running meanwhile let me show you one more thing see reference deployment if you install your stackstrom on a single host how your components are there this is the diagram okay just observe all the components here see postgres sql is useful for mistral workflow okay so these all are the components if you install your stackstrom on a single host with your shell script that's fine now maybe our os is running it's ready to connect let me connect with this os and we know that stackstrom is implemented with python right but if let me connect and show you that maybe still it is not ready to accept the ssh connection we need to wait some more time wait yeah now it is ready the first time checking is there any python on my host no or python 2 no python 3 no right so as of now you don't have here any python version in case if you have no problem in case if you don't have our script will take care now go to there pick install right and before going to use this command this script this line if you observe here you have to use updated curl command so now we are using rhl8 right so for rhl to update your curl command we have to run this we have to update these two packages now simply see here by default ec2 user is having root privileges that's why just we are using sudo so suppose if you are using your linux os from your vmware or from your any cloud better to go root user then from there you just run it otherwise i will switch into root that's better okay from root you just try to install your stackstrom or even the this command also let me rerun it now from root you no need to provide sudo right anyway you will get all these steps from my github sorry that is simply m right now go to this command see if you want to change your username and password here you can change it you can provide some xyz user some xyz password but for time being just i'm going with default values just run and observe this log that is very very important installing st2 stable stable stackstrom st2 means here stackstrom okay whatever the components stackstrom is required all the components will be installed through this shell script you just observe the log so that you will get some idea see rabbit mk is downloading for messaging queue just observe this log it may take some time in case if you don't want to observe this log you can forward this video It will also download, install, and download required Python. So as of now, some modules of uh, Stackstrom needs Python 2, some modules needs Python 3. It will take care about them. So it will automatically take care if you go with this script only, quick install only. You have remaining procedures, remaining ways, right, to install your Stackstrom. There you have to manually take care.
3 python 2 setup tools done installing python 2 required python 2 mongodb for database so if you observe this log you can come to know what are the components are installing so it has been set uh, for our stacks from role and db name from mongodb automatically successfully added a user called stacks from switch it to db Yeah, Python 3 also installed pell pell command See now the components of your stack storm container st2 action container st2 api sensor container chart ops as of now that is not running later we'll start that so it is almost done we are now ready with stack storm see adding password for your user st2 admin so we came with the default username right st2 admin i mean while taking this command quick install we have given st2 admin as the user and this has the password that's it so where this password is storing key written into in this file You no need to worry about all the components while working with our course with our stack storm automatically we'll come to know different components and how to use how to work with them as of now just observe and try to remember the names of stack storm components that's it Okay, we are at last. I mean, installation is almost done. Yeah, right. See that st2 stack strom. Okay, now st2 is installed and ready to use. If you want to log in through UI for your stack strom, simply you have to provide user your host IP. You can also provide host IP colon 80 because UI is running on Nginx and Nginx is running on the port number 80. Anyway, by default, your URL will take 80 as the port number. First, let me open that. See, if you are using EC2 instance, then your host is nothing but simply it will take you will take this one. That is better. In case if you are using your local host then simply you can type your local host or your local IP in your browser. Suppose if you are using VMware, simply you can take in, in your VMware, you can open your required browser and simply type localhost colon 80 slash. See that I am typing. Even you can, yeah. With, the, with 80 or without 80, no problem. Simply just paste your IP and then enter. See that your connection is not private no problem advanced just click on advanced and you have a at last unsafe url no problem you just click on that now stack strong web ui you are getting so whatever the username and password we have given while installing and configuring our stack storm, just give that st2 admin is username and password as simply change me ch at the rate n g e capital m me that's it 
So now we open our stacks from UI. Okay, as of now, don't worry about this. Now, see here. Anyway, we know documentation. ST2, uh, sorry, stock stackstorm documentation that is docs.stackstorm.com and try to save this URL as well. Pack exchange. What is that? We will see. Always simply remember stackstorm exchange. If you search with that word also, you, you will redirect into that page. I mean, simply stackstorm exchange. That's it. Okay, this is the page. Yeah, that's okay. Now, see previously we we verified uh, about Python. There was no Python. Now after installing your Stackstorm, let me check it. Python is not there, but Python too. Yes, it is there. Python three. Yes. So actually, Stackstorm need, needs Python. That's why our script has taken care about that. Now, let me verify our Stackstorm version. Stackstorm st2 3.2.0 on Python 3.6.8. See, on my RHL 8, now Stackstorm is running on 3.6.8. Suppose if you go with the lower version of your OS, let's say RHL 7 or 6, then your Python may run on different Python versions less than this uh, python 3.6.8 that's it and after verifying this you just remember some paths the very first path is slash opt stackstrom what is that we will see then next one is slash etc st2 this is for configuration and simply one more thing is var log var log st2 so here logs will store let me give the history so these three parts slash opt stack from slash etc st2 slash var log st2 right fine and one more thing after installing our stack from we know that there are different components are required for our stack from you can verify them whether they are running or not. Simply run ps-ef pipeline grep. First, let me run with simply stack strom. Yes, it is running. Or let me run with st2. Yes, stack strom is running. And let me go with MongoD. Don't search with MongoDB. MongoD. Yes, rabbit MQ Sorry, uh, given Q that is a Yes, rabbit MQ is running Right then nginx is also there anyway. It is up and running. That's why we are able to log in into UI that's it okay guys that is all about how to install and configure stacks from with quick install and how to verify install stacks from version and how to verify install stacks from different services okay thank you for watching this video